Okay, we're gonna go over the Sicilian. All these are standard moves. All right, so usually they they trade off the D4 pawn, but in this case they don't, so I'm gonna sacrifice my C pawn to open up the C file. And I gotta push the A pawn to protect it from the Dark Bishop. Um, so even, I'm inviting the white pawns uh, on the king side to go ahead and march up the board. Um, push B5 to get control of that C4 square. I don't want the knight or the bishop to get there. All right, so queen a5 is a peculiar move. Uh, not normally what you look for, but um, it's actually, sometimes it pins a knight, but in this case it's controlling the fifth rank. So bishop on b3 pins a pawn, so you have to take it with h-pawn. But this can be okay, because if you maneuver the king and rook, you can get the h-file. So I push the b-pawn to get control of the fifth rank. And it's a quiet move, because they don't see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to try to unpin the king from the pawn, and I'm going to get the rook over to h8. So here, in this case, well, I forgot the queen was guarding the fifth rank. So you have to block the check. Um, go ahead and try to trade off the bishops and get the knight to g3. Also, it, it buys me a move to get the rook to h8. So now I have pressure on the h3 pawn. Go ahead and check, get the queen out of the way. I'm going to sacrifice bishop because the rook's got the, the whole h file. So they can't really clear that out because it's going to be a discovered check. So I'm going to sacrifice it and then put another rook there. And white resigns. 